I'm not gonna lie, I don't even feel like I'm streaming. Right now, I feel like I'm just yapping, right? So, like, if I say something stupid, let it be. I ignore me and, like, let it be. But for those of you that gently came from YouTube, I know I have not given, like, as much love as I have to YouTube. We don't even talk about TikTok, bro. TikTok's fucking you dead, can't. right? But I wish it's because I'm like, ah, oh, chat. You know, I've been really busy. That's why I can't start my YouTube, blah, 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 blah. In all seriousness, no, we had two situations, right? The first one is my editors have been quite busy. I'm looking for more editors right now. So second reason is I shit you not. Every time I go on YouTube now, I get like so anxious. <laughs> I get so anxious going to YouTube because like it's a constant reminder. You know what I mean? Like this is so ridiculous. Do you want to hear the most like ridiculous like streamer content creator dilemma ever? PTSD. It's not even PTSD. So here's the thing, right? It's like, um... When you don't put in enough effort to, like, a platform, obviously, analytics go down, right? And you can fucking huff copium and shit. You can be like, copium, it's fine. Copium, it's not about the numbers. I'm gonna be 100% real with you. And I don't mean this in a bad way. This is just me. I'm not saying all streamers, right? This is just me. Like, sometimes you look at those numbers and you're like, holy fucking shit. It's like a reminder to myself that, like, I have not given enough, like, effort into YouTube. You know what I mean? Like, I haven't, like, put in the effort. And it's like, it's not just about content. It's not just about numbers. It's like, I feel bad because there are people that prefer watching, like, they prefer to watch videos on YouTube compared to Twitch. And in my head, I'm just like imagining them like waiting and they're like, holy shit, this content suck ass. Like this shit's ass. Like, you know what I mean? Because YouTube is not like I'm streaming there. I'm making like tailored content for YouTube. Well, not tailored content, like clip content for YouTube. And YouTube bros are sitting there being like, holy shit, this shit's ass. Like I've been waiting three days for this ass. Like hell nah. So I felt so bad and it makes me like so nervous to post on YouTube just because in my head I'm like oh my god I'm disappointing so many people <laughs> and it's more stupid because like by feeling that way I don't actually like I don't have the balls to post on YouTube which means more ass because like nothing is more ass than something so I was like it's such a weird dilemma you know what I mean so Honestly, I'm just trying to dig myself out of this rut because it's not true. Like, everything I'm thinking about is not true. It's just like voice worms, like brain demons, right? Brain worms. So I'm trying to dig myself out of it and start posting genuine ass on YouTube. That's the plan, chat. The plan is we're gonna get over our stupid, like, ridiculous insecurities and start posting genuine quality ass content on YouTube. It's gonna be so bad that it makes sense. Sometimes you build something in your head way bigger than it is. I, it's not even that. The best way I can explain it is like... When people say like, oh, numbers. Ah, you know, like a uh, streamer, streamer, content creator, my numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not even just about the numbers. For me, at least. It's like, I feel like I'm disappointing people, you know? Because like, I know I haven't put in as much love and dedication as I could. It's like... At one point, my attention was split, right? I had a lot of projects and I was like streaming most of the time. So when I was free, I worked on projects. I have to be so honest with you. When it comes to streaming, I like streaming more than making videos. That's me personally, right? I, like I know there's people like, for example, Kuro. Kuro likes making videos more than streaming. He still likes streaming, but he's more of a video guy. I like dedicated content. And... Why I like streaming is because I can just yap. You know what I mean? Like, I can yap. It makes sense. My conversation gets dragged out for three hours and it's fine because it's a stream. Like, if I stream for 30 minutes and stream, that's not really a fucking stream, right? Now, YouTube videos are different. Plus. Here's the thing. You want to know how YouTube videos actually work? I've recorded some, like, dedicated YouTube videos, right? Like, it's not a clip from streams. It's, like, dedicated for YouTube. And I did not get it. Like, I did not get the memo, girl. Because on stream, you yap, right? You have a lot of filler words. I can't just be like, hey, chat. Welcome back. Hmm. 
Like, I can't just have, like, random pauses of silence because that shit doesn't get edited out, right? But for YouTube, like, dedicated, you do that shit. You go like, welcome back to... Okay, now we're gonna do an intro, right? Let's do it. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be this, 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 this. Hi, guys! Welcome back to another video. Hold on. Uh, let me just do this. Okay, let's do it again. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be doing this. I'm very excited to review blah 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 blah. Okay, and then we click this and then we should like that! You know what I mean? Like the vibe, it, it like turns off. And then it's like paste and everything. And you every time you talk, you're like, okay, Thanks, it's been 30 Cyber minutes. Dragon X for the seven you know, Lisa. you're like, oh shit, okay, story time, and then you check your time and you're like, it's been 30 minutes. Compelling and rich. <laughs> You're like, okay, I, you can't talk for too long, right? And here's the thing. I know some of you may know this, some of you don't. But before I streamed on Twitch, I was a YouTube Andy. I came from YouTube. I understand YouTube's algorithm more than I understand Twitch's algorithm, right? Don't ask me how. You're not gonna know how. But just know that I understand the algorithm on YouTube better than Twitch. And that's what makes it worse. Because now... I go on YouTube and I'm like, ah, shit. It's because, like, I don't actually put in the time. You know what I mean? Like, I know how to do this. And because I know, I pressure myself more. Because, like, I'm looking at my shit. I'm like, this could be better. This could have been, like, this should be this. This should be that. Like, tags, timing, analytics matter so much. Like, on stream, I say, like, chat, I don't care about numbers. I don't care about analytics. That is true. For streams. When it comes to like YouTube, it's like a different story. And I don't know why I see it as a different story. Like it's not that different, but I can't help myself to be like, this is not a stream. It's a video. And for some reason, I'm like flunking it. You know what I mean? Like I Tom know how to do Thumbs this. I know the stuff. Why am I flunking? Cents. You I, again, this is my 110% honesty, right? Why don't the I do a stream? That you have one topic on mm. YouTube. The problem is you can't stay on one topic exactly. for 10 minutes without jumping to three other topics. Like, that's also like an issue that my clipper told me. Where it's like, Micha, I'm gonna be real with you. It's so hard to clip you because you can't stick on one topic. I'm gonna be 110% real with you. The reason I don't dual stream is my flow is so different. Like, YouTube streams and Twitch streams are so different. On Twitch, you like literally brain rot. You know what I mean? Like, I yap for hours. I switch between different topics for hours. Chat spams like the most craziest emotes that you can see on screen for hours. On YouTube, that's not how it works. And I know I say like chat, like numbers mean nothing. Algorithms mean nothing. Yeah, on Twitch. Because like Twitch is just like, I see Twitch as like a place I go to, like as an escapism. You know what I mean? Like sometimes I have bad days. And then I go live on Twitch and I just ignore it. Like, I leave my problems behind. I hang out with cool people online and then I finish stream and I feel better. And that's how Twitch works. But maybe it could be like multiple reasons. But because I came from YouTube, YouTube more you know, like, like, I think it's because I came from YouTube. And during my time working at YouTube, not working at YouTube, but like working with the YouTube platform. I had to focus on algorithms. You know, it's like secondhand nature. You know what I mean? Like when I go on YouTube and I clip and I click like upload video or I click like start stream, like by nature, I click on the analytics and I hate it. Like I am not an analytic person. I will point out my YouTube mistakes. I'm not gonna fucking be like, oh chat, it's because I'm busy. No, I will point out my YouTube mistakes first. You got Lengthwise is so different, right? Sometimes I would upload videos that are like an hour and a half long. Other times I upload videos that are 15 minutes long. Other times I'd upload videos that are 30 minutes long. That is different. Second, my upload Thanks, days are inconsistent. For the sub. Super inconsistent. Some days I upload on Mondays. Sometimes I upload on Tuesdays. That is a big factor. Third, I don't use tags. I don't use the proper tags. I don't categorize my videos properly. Understandable. One -uh. of these days you and then fourth, I don't cover topics that are currently in trend. And most of my clips are like a month late. You know what I mean? Like I stream it today. I post the clip next month. So it's kind of like 
late news, you know? There's a lot. There's a lot of, like, stuff in my YouTube. Like, see, these are the things, like, I know it. I know it, but, like, I feel so inca incapacitated to do anything about it. And it's not even for, like, outside factors. This is purely me. Like, the blame is 100% on me. Because my mind has been, like, stupid as fuck. And I know it. It's so hard to get out of it. You know what I mean? It's like, knowing is the first step. Because the other steps are fucking difficult. You know, it's like, admitting that you have a problem. But, like, actually fixing the problem is so fucking hard. <laughs> I think for you, YouTube shorts are better than real video. It made me trip so hard. I saw a TikTok video that someone made of me and I tripped so hard because I'm like, whoa. It's been a while since I actually like focused on editing. So here's the thing. I will be so honest. Ever since I went on Twitch, ever since I joined V Shoujo, I am baby to shit, right? I am so used to just like not looking at that. Like I don't look at the numbers. I don't have like streamer anxiety, which I used to have. I don't know what it's called, but I call it streamering, like performance anxiety, you know what I mean? Back then, I don't know if I ever talked about this, but like, I feel like a lot of people experience this. So I'm just, I'm not saying this is like me personally. I think people have experienced it too. I used to have like breakdowns before streams because there's a lot in my mind, right? On YouTube, um, like not just YouTube, video content. There is something called like perfect cuts. So if let's say I'm talking right now and you just like take my VOD, upload my VOD, like let's say four hours long. Sure, it makes sense, but no one is going to realistically sit there. Like not a lot of people, there's like not enough engagement. You know what I mean? YouTube people, it, there are two big YouTube audiences. The first one are like brain rots. They want to watch shorts, something fast, simple, straight to the point, less than a minute, like condensed content to its barest bone. They want to scroll every three seconds. The other group is someone that wants to like play a video while they eat or play a video while they shower. Something that doesn't require them to click skip or next or anything like that, right? So they prefer videos that are more long, like 18 minutes to 30 minutes to 45 to an hour. Just kind of like background noise, you know? So those are like, there are obviously different subsections in YouTube because YouTube is massive. But these are like the, the biggest two groups. Here's the thing, with clipping, there are so many different factors. And I have not been consistent about it. Like, do I want my audience to like go on my channel, expect videos that they can just click and tune out to or click and like focus for like 10 minutes and leave? I don't know because my videos have been so random. Like if I don't know what I'm doing, I can't get a clipper and actually help them because like clippers jobs are just to edit, right? But I need to know the direction of where I want to go. And I have not been doing that. I've not been doing my due diligence. 100% real. The other thing is like genuinely, I used to have so much stream, like performance anxiety because every time I stream, I think about how this is going to turn out as a video because I used to like stream and post videos on YouTube at the same time. Back then, back in my day, so back in the day when there was no category, you need to make sure everything has a flow, which was harder, right? Like I stream today, tomorrow I, I upload a video. I need to have a similar vibe. So every time before I streamed, I think about too many things. I think about timing, algorithm, vibe, how this can be condensed to a video, especially if it's a collab. I'm like, what can I say when? I don't want to like cut things out because if there was a funny moment, but it takes like 10 whole minutes to get to the punchline, that's not funny. You know, like it's funny as a stream, but as a video, if it takes 10 fucking minutes to get into a punchline of a joke, it doesn't work. Like the punchline needs to come in unironically a minute, right? Like fast. So that's how I've been like thinking. But ever since I got on Twitch, ever since I started streaming for Vishojo, that is gone. Like I've just been enjoying my time, hanging out, talking about whatever I want to talk about. Chat, ask, I answer. And that's the thing. That's where editing comes along, right? There needs to be a flow to everything. Whether you like it or not, if you click on a YouTube channel, you want to have like an understanding of what you're going to watch. Like if you're eating and you're like, I don't know what I want to watch today. I want to listen to someone talk. Thanks, Neo65 Resub. You go to someone. 
oh today i want to watch someone play games you go to like a gaming channel or like today i want to listen to someone vent about a topic you go to a different topic like youtube channels are more curated than like live streaming at least my style of live streaming now so there's a lot of factors to it and i'll be 100 percent real with you i have been so spoiled my habits have been so changed right i've been telling myself to like drop this habit i can't do it on youtube i don't know why every time i click on youtube i always like go to analytics like before i upload a video i check analytics and it's like a second hand habit I'm not used to it anymore. I used to be on top of it. Like, I'm not saying like, oh my God, chat, this is so stressful, blah, blah, blah. That's yeah. just our job. Like, that's what we have to deal with, you know? But now I'm so used to just being like, click go live, yap, enjoy your time, done. So every time I go on YouTube and I'm like, before I upload a video, is this edited correctly? Is this this? Is this that? This, that, this, that, that, that. And then I check too many things. I've tuned out so much. That every time I try to tune back in, and I've tried, like, I've tried to tune back into this, like, content creator side of me. It gives me anxiety. Like, it, it reminds me of something, and then I just get so much anxiety, I can't do it. It's so ridiculous. And I'm just not saying this is hard, by the way. I'm not. I'm not. The Don't pity me, because I need you to remind you, chat. Like, every job has a plus and minus, right? This is just what it is. It comes with the job. And I used to be able to do it. Like, I used to have the mentality of being like, when I approach collabs, I see it from a content perspective. Genuine qu Twitch, when you yap, number go up. When you play game, it gives a cushion. You know what I mean? It doesn't go all the way down. YouTube, number go up when you, you start streaming. And it goes down. <laughs> That's true. On YouTube, I think you've noticed this. If you've watched a lot of VTubers, a lot of VTubers are on YouTube usually number go up for the first two hours and then no matter what you do number go down 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 that's why a lot of youtube streams are like what like three hours four hours long because viewer attention is not that good on twitch it kind of go up i will say i got spoiled you know like i feel like i'm a very spoiled person now you, got you know because i used to be okay with it like, I used to be on top of the, my shit. Like, I know what to do. I know when to do it. I know what to post. Like, content. Like, I had content brain. When I collab with people, I do things and say things in order to, like, generate content. I hate watching. Like, I do things specifically to garner content. Ever since I got into V Shoujo, I'm just, like, enjoying it. Like, I have been, like, purely doing nothing but enjoy myself. I've had fun, like genuine, like when I laugh, it's a genuine laugh, you know, like when I have collabs, yeah, I'm just you playing would games. Feel that way after being in an abusive situation. <laughs> no, but it's like, it's good for my Thanks, mental Mega health, Slayer. for real bad if you want to see this as a job, you know what I mean? Like if you really want to grind, quote unquote, and become like successful as a content creator, you got to sacrifice some things. And those some things are probably your mental health. I'm gonna be real with you. Okay. Like no such thing as a genuine like i'm a happy go lucky streamer and blah blah no like there's a brain power to that i think like I, i'm just like too happy with being happy that i don't want to go back like i'm too scared to like it's probably not the same like i don't have a looming figure behind me telling me that i have to be successful you know like my managers aren't giving me shit for failing right and like no one is being angry Michi, it's at good me that you're and shit and less stressed now Ain't sustainable to go back to how it was. I know, but I feel like that was during like peak content creation. Like, for those of you that may or may not know, I used to do game shows. Like, I used to make tailored content. I'd have like, that takes weeks of preparation on my end. I would like do proper research. I I'd have like my assets and shit. My Growth isn't worth your mental health. Sometimes not true genuinely sometimes not true because if you actually want to like get money like moolah from this shit and see this as a job you need it to succeed and the best way to succeed is for growth and to have growth you have to like sacrifice your mental maybe i'm a bit emotional or something because i've been up for so long slightly medicated and a bit sick but not like in a sad way i'm not saying i have ptsd like every time people say like you have ptsd from the past i don't think so 
because I think I'm over it. You know, like, I Dang, think I am. I am. I'm gonna be 100% real with you. This might make me sound stupid or like, like money grabby, but I'm gonna be 100%. I used to like hand select my content. Like I used to hand select my collab partners, right? I choose people. Okay, I will sound insane. I would stay up for days trying to like find out like, for example, who does Kuro have vibes with? And then I find that person. I research their content. I research their chat. And I'm like, okay, this is what they've been obsessed with. This has been their jokes, right? So from there, I find people that have similar jokes, similar vibes. And then I find other people that would vibe pretty well. And hands like, like, this is not like people think like, oh my God, go to line up because of an accident. No, that is not an accident. I did genuine research to find goaded like lineups, like collab lineups because I needed to work. So like, it's not like I'm like, oh, today I just feel like playing with this is the best example. It's not even like, oh, today I just feel like playing Mario Party. Let's just see who's online and let's play with them. No, I would be like, okay, what's the hit game today? Like recently, what's trending? Like there's a website that tells you what content is trending. So I go there and be like, okay, that's Mario Party, for example. Mario Party is trending. How do I make this into a good con like good content shit, right? Okay. Who is like who is like top lining right now? Let's say it's Kuro. Kuro has been blowing up on Mario Party because of a clip. Okay, let's see who would work. Kuro's model is done by this artist who also makes Betel's artwork. So Betel could also work. Let me do research. Aha, Betel's like sense of humor is like this this is which is similar to these people and i break it down to people who can relate to battle kuro and me now i'm finding out and then it falls down to haka and it makes sense because haka and i have history right haka and battle has history haka kuro same humor but not too much like it's so obsessive it's so obsessive and i would stay up for weeks because i'm not doing one collab i'm doing 10 Every like, like I would do five collabs like this every week. I know it's kind of cringe, chat. I know it's, I don't do it anymore. That's why I'm saying I'm so baby now. Like I know this sounds cringe, but you don't get it. Back then I needed to do this. Like I had people breathing down my neck. You know what I mean? Like I had people that like, if I don't succeed, mm -mm. like it's not even just like, I had a lot of pressure. All right. I can't talk about the pressure, but I had, Pressure that isn't just because I wanted money. The, the numbers didn't matter. I never cared about it. But at that time, I was in a position where I had to. So I was like stressing. I would check like analytics. I would check like chat behavior, content behavior, everything. Plan the exact proper time. And I would do this four months in a row, back to back for years. And I would make like sometimes games aren't trending. It's like events, right? So I think about events, which is kind of fun. Like low key, the planning was stressful, but doing it was really fun. So it was worth it in the end. Like, I'm not saying like, oh, chat, I'm so stressed. No, it was genuinely a fun time. But the planning was fucking hell. So for example, like I, I, I want to do like the telephone game or uh, game shows, right? I would make like Google Forms and shit. I would have like thousands of responses. I'm not like 3000 responses. And I would go through one by one by one of each response to tailor make like this quote unquote good game show. And I would do that for days. And I was like, I felt crazy. You know what I mean? Like I don't, people say like, oh, this is so cringe. Chat, most of the like, famous content that you see nowadays are like this like whether you like it or not if you think people are just like naturally born to make perfect timing like perfect timing there are some that are organic right but a good chunk of videos are inorganic and i'm sorry to burst that bubble but that is just what it is people plan it out especially when it's a job people plan this shit out and people like make sure that well it may or may not happen but the likelihood of good things happening are higher so as a viewer, you watch it, you feel like this is natural. They succeeded. If you watch it and you feel like this is scripted, then obviously it's a, like it's a flop, right? 
it makes it harder if you want to watch and feel like it's real. Well, it is real, but more, less, less effort. It's like, oh, naturally it's good. There's a lot of hard work that like producers, you know, like you get producers in the background kind of working on that shit. At that time, I was my own producer. But now I don't do that anymore. Like I go live on stream. I yap. I have fun. I'm not fucking going crazy, right? Like I collab with my friends and I just have fun. Like just now I woke up at 5 a.m. I played with pretty cool people, like really cool people. I enjoyed myself and I've been doing that for like eight months and I am like the happiest I've ever been. Like fun content happens, you know, fun moments happen naturally. And it's funny. Like when I laugh, it's like genuine because I'm like, holy shit, that was so funny. I never had to think about like, okay, let's do this, 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 this. Aha, uh -huh, funny. I'm laughing. It's funny, but I'm also laughing because I succeeded. Like, I never had to think about this anymore. You know, like I don't have to think about algorithms and blowing up and curating content and shit like that i do whatever i want whenever i want and have a good time and i'm so babied i have been so like spoiled i can't go back like i try maybe i'm going through the arc of like approaching content creation in a healthier way but like after unironically three years of non-stop looking at content through like a leech perspective and i will say leech because i was like i was a money grabby piece of shit you know what i mean it's so hard to break from that mentality like yes i used to look at money and i used to look at numbers no shame in that girl like people like to say like oh streamers are all about money these are people too i know that but people's situations are different you know like i now i actually look at chat and i see people and i'm just enjoying my time with people Back then, I didn't have the privilege to do that. I was like stressing. I was like going fucking crazy because I had to. But I'm used to it. Now I'm not anymore. And I just can't go back. It's so weird. Like, I can approach this in a healthy way. I know the information. I know how it works. I know what to do. I, I'm so scared. And I don't know what I'm scared about. And it's been like pestering me. It's like itching me. Because it's like... It's not that scary. Like, it's not that serious. Deadass. I know there'll be people that are like, this is so cringe. Like, it's not that serious, girl. I know it's not that serious. That's why it's irritating. But why does it feel like such a biggie of a deal? And that's what's been making me cuckoo crazy. And for some reason, my solution is to be like, okay, let's just not look at YouTube for today. We'll look at YouTube tomorrow. And then I just don't look at YouTube and I, I feel so bad. I actually want to make content on YouTube. That's a trauma, girl. I have tears in my eyes. Before the cool dun dun dun, I'll be 